Hey, how's it going guys? Nate here, and if you've been watching my channel lately, you could probably tell I've been playing a lot more Fallout 4 than I do normally in recent days, and one of the big contributors to that is Settlement Mode. Initially, when I started playing Fallout 4, I really neglected and just glazed over settlements in general. I didn't really do any more than the bare minimum the game required me to do. But since then, I've already finished the main quest line, and the Brotherhood of Steel are ballin', baby. But um, since I've finished the main quest line, I've, I've been kind of considering everything else. I've been dabbling into settlements a little bit more, and I've been having a lot of fun with it. I've been trying to get Sanctuary Castle and Ten Pines Bluff, trying to get those as big as possible and really make them expand. And all in all, I think settlements are pretty cool. Uh, a pretty cool addition to the Fallout franchise. It's added a lot more, uh, a lot more to the game's lifespan. I guess you can say. I've definitely invested more hours into Fallout 4 than I would have had settlement mode not been there that said however there's a lot of big problems with settlement mode a lot of fundamental errors here and there that i really think need to be expressed as much as possible because this april will be the wasteland workshop dlc and with that comes a huge overhaul to settlement mode they're going to be adding cages in which you can trap npcs coliseums to make said npcs battle and a lot of new objects and just patches to the mode in general and i thought it'd be a good idea to kind of talk about some of the things that we would hope to see uh, be fixed and kind of buffed around settlement mode in that DLC, or if we're lucky, even beforehand in a patch or something. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's do further. First things first, clipping, 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 clipping. Oh my god. I have been going through eye-twitching levels of induced frustration because of this, trying to build walls that at least look kind of seamless. I've been using the junk walls lately, trying to kind of surround Sanctuary with it, but oh my gosh, unless I cross my eyes, it looks ridiculous because these walls can't clip with the ground or each other. So as a result, it looks really, really ridiculous, and it just doesn't look like something I'd be proud of. So what I've done is I've turned to alternate memes, like you, or memes, not memes, Jesus. I've turned to alternate memes, and I've been using uh, bridges and things like that to kind of give a somewhat of a wall effect. But overall, this is my big problem, clipping. And it's not just with walls, it's with houses, placing down a chair. It, this is a huge problem for me, and it's probably my biggest frustration. Because I don't think I have OCD, but this game really, really makes me question that, because my god, it is so frustrating. The next feature I'd really like to make a push for is named settlers, because right now, every single one of our settlement's residents is named the same generic thing. Settler. 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 And there's zero way at all to tell them apart. Especially considering the fact that some of your settlers spawn in with the same preset. There's only about five presets your settlers spawn in. And this preset dictates their appearance. And if they look the exact same, and they're named the same generic settler title, it's almost impossible to distinguish between two different settlers, unless you equip them for, with your own apparel that you have to provide. Or, maybe if you look in your workshop mode, you might be able to get a good idea. But either way, it creates a big logistical mess that could easily be fixed if we could just name our settlers, and then we can get a better idea. Like, oh, this is Bob. He likes to farm corn. That's his job. He sleeps in this bed. Oh, this is Chuck. He's a guard. He sleeps over here. It'd be a lot easier to just organize our settlement that way rather than play this goddamn guessing game where we're like flipping over cards trying to figure this out. I think that'd be a good thing. The next problem is really just a bit of a personal one for me, and that's empathy. I've got a lot of trouble feeling bad when one of my settlers die. The only thing I really think about is like, oh god, now I need a new one. I don't think, no, Bob! I think, god damn it, I lost another piece of cattle. I don't really emphasize with my settlers that well, seeing as they're so generically named. And I know I'm capable of doing this, because I played Banished before on my PC, and I really, really like following around certain characters, and seeing how they're progressing, seeing what they're doing, getting a good idea of that. And that kind of ties into distinguishment, but since they're all named the same thing, I think a little more of my settlers than I would cattle. So I'd really like to see these settlers named something. Even then, even if they just, um, for instance, Codsworth, he's got a database of names he can say, right? Nathaniel, David, Bob, so many names Codsworth can say. If you can just take that list of names and apply an RNG sort of thing, perhaps that'd be a good fix. I'm not entirely sure how this would work, but it doesn't seem like that big of a problem, at least to me. But anyway, moving on. Alright, so now I'm going to be making a case for wood, because admittedly, when you first start playing and messing around with settlements in settlement mode, wood won't be that big of an issue. It's in relative abundance, and uh, you won't have any problem at all acquiring more of it. But as you progress later on through settlement mode, and you begin to develop a few sprawling settlements, so to speak, you'll notice a problem. Wood does become a scarce commodity, so to speak, and there's no way to get more of it. Now you can travel to Diamond City and fork over like 500 caps for 25 wood, 
but that's remarkably overpriced, and it's so little, it's such a small amount that it doesn't really make that much of an impact on your settlements. So as a result, your settlements begin to stall, because if you're like me, most of your settlements are based and kind of just founded on wood. You need that. The wood makes up the foundation of many of your buildings, of many of your projects, so to speak, and it's a pretty essential resource. But eventually, you almost deplete it entirely, and there's no way to replenish it efficiently. So I'd really like Bethesda to add in a tree farm, perhaps, or something like that, a new way to, for us to acquire wood that's logistically practical to allow us to continue developing our settlements. I think that'd be a pretty cool thing, especially considering that the Wasteland Workshop DLC coming out later will have cages made out of wood, so that's only going to add to my absolute need for such a resource. And I'd like to see it uh, be able to be replenished, so to speak. And the final feature I'd like to see, or it's not even a feature, I'd just like to see this feature expanded, really, is settlement memory. I want more settlement memory because, my god, Right now, the limitation it caps you off at is at that point where your settlement's really beginning to get big and good and where you want to see it. You've got maybe 20 settlers, a few buildings here and there. It's really becoming almost a town sort of thing. And right then and there, settlement memory comes in like it's the fun police, for God's sake, and cuts you off entirely. And this is one of my bigger grievances with Fallout 4 settlement mode. It's that I don't want to invest into a settlement I know will eventually uh, has a cap to it, so to speak. A settlement I know can only be so good. And that becomes a big issue, especially when I'm trying to design pixel art or something like that. I'll get maybe three-fourths of a way done with a project, and then I'll realize, oh no, I'm not going to have enough settlement memory to finish this, and I have to scrap the whole thing. So an expansion to settlement memory would really be nice, if not just remove the whole damn trivial feature altogether. Because I've got a few friends on PC that have used mods to counteract this problem, and they haven't really reported any FPS issues or chops to performance or anything like that. So it seems like settlement memory doesn't really have a, a big purpose, if anything at all. So I'd like to see this expanded by Bethesda, if possible. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like if you liked, dislike if you disliked. Hopefully, if we've got our fingers crossed, all these features will be uh, resolved and or implemented by April, in which Bethesda releases the Wasteland Workshop DLC that is supposed to really overhaul settlement mode if, if, uh, if all goes well. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Peace out, everybody.